So we, we, we just got a series called Jump, Jesus Needs My Potential. And we talked that, amen, and beat that drum. We'll beat it again another time, but I think we beat it enough, amen? Hallelujah. But today I want to talk about the power of his name in the kingdom, right. amen. The power of his name in the kingdom. And I pray you get something out of this. But we serve such an awesome God. I, and how, about, how many have jumped when you're jumping, amen? Right. Amen. Go ahead. Jump means, amen, it's the potential that God has in you. You're going to leap out in faith, and you're going to do it. Exactly. You're going to do it. You're going to do some great things. Amen? And, and here's the deal. If you hurt yourself when you jump, don't worry about it. God will bandage you up and you'll be good. Amen? Amen. But the reason why people are not blessed, uh, well, not blessed is not the proper word there, but the reason why people are not prosperous and, success, and successful in what God has called them to do sometimes, even in the natural, uh, is because they, they are afraid to, to just jump. They're afraid to do some things. They're afraid that they're gonna lose, or they're gonna yeah. they, they're gonna get hurt, or they're gonna you know uh, 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 you know fail, right? right. But we, we know that failure is part of the process of a success, right? right. right? So let, let's go tell, tell you, Nate, that's gonna be some failures. Test myself, it's gonna be some failures. Gonna be some failures. That's all right, amen. Uh, but 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 I'm telling you, if you do what God told you to do, you will win more than you fail. Right. You, in the end, you you win, right? You may lose some battles, but you're gonna win the war. So you don't push that name and say, you may lose some battles. You might lose some battles. But you're going to win the war. But you're going to win the war. You're going to win the war. You're going to win the war. All right. So let's go to Isaiah, the ninth chapter. And I'm going to uh, teach for about, you know, about three hours. And I'm going to be done today. <laughs> just, just, just check and see who, who's in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> just check it, amen. I always kid people. I'm a big um, uh, college football fan. I'm not even necessarily a sport uh, a pro football fan. But I'm a big college football fan. And. You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Alabama and Vanderbilt. That's why I don't know that. Uh, so we, we, we got a, a conflict of interest uh, third week in September because Vanderbilt is playing Alabama. So I'm going to be on Vanderbilt's side saying, anchor down. <laughs> so uh, anyway, but uh, when we go to football games and we, and we stay there for you know, three hours. Right? You know, at the least, most football games are four hours, right? right. Take two hours to drive there. Most times, you go to Tuscaloosa, you go to Auburn, it takes, you know, about three hours, four hours, you know. And then we're in traffic for another hour, and then we drive back for four hours. Right? right? right. And we don't complain. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Woo wee! We chill when we're there. Nobody tell us, get up and praise the Lord. Or get up and praise Auburn. Get up and praise Alabama and No, we just get up. Yeah. But we tell another Lord. And I, I won't pray, preach for three hours because that's too long to preach. Amen? Right. That's God's move. I mean, we don't want you to learn. But what I'm saying is, you know, people, they be watching, they be looking at you watch at church. <laughs> oh. Right? right? I mean, I've, I, 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 I've been guilty before. Right? But it's, for some reason, I never see people at, 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 a, at a sports game doing that. No. <laughs> Man, it's just too long. It's not the clock. And by the way, you paid. Come on, y'all, get it. Oh, yeah. $50, whatever. Okay. I, I don't have to go to the rest of that yet. Y'all can't figure out the rest. Right? right. right. You ought to be convicted. Yeah. I'm talking about people in the church. Right. I'm talking about those who said they love the Lord. Right. Now, hey, Nick Saban, good, good coach. I can't call on the phone and ask him for a blessing. No. Ask him for a healing. We can't ask him anything. You know, so we are from Georgia. You know, y'all probably be Georgia Bulldog fans. Or, you know, any Georgia Bulldog fans, you know, or whomever, you know. Uh, you know, y'all got Kirby Smart over there now. So anyway. But no, you, can't, you, can't, you can't ask Ugga. That's his name. Yeah, the, 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 the dog. No. <laughs> ask I'm going to teach you a second. I'm going to try to mess you up just a little bit. Here. Yeah. Right. See, the people in the shelter church, they dance to church, but they don't bring their mind to church. Yeah. See, right. Your altitude can't go above your attitude. Right. Your attitude is the product of your mind. You'll never be anything that you have not thought you could be. Right. You are today what you thought yesterday. You'll be tomorrow what you're thinking right now today. Right. Everybody in this room, including me, look like our past decisions. That's right. Yes, That's why God challenged us to be renewed in the spirit of our mind. Right. Put on a new man. In, 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 in holiness and righteousness and true holiness. Amen. Amen. We think like we think royal. We think like royalty now. We don't think like poverty. We don't think like poor people. Hallelujah. We, I mean, we think royal. Right? right. Why? Because God knows he can change our mind. He can change, amen, uh, the course of our life. 
But we can't change your mind, we can't change the culture of our life. Amen. Took about Egypt, but he did Egypt out of them for 40 years. In order to go to the promised land. We say things like this. You can take a person out of the project, but you can't take the project out of the person. Right? Walk from the project, there ain't no project in me. Amen. Amen. I'm from the project. In, in, in the project people here, I'm talking about government houses. Just, hey, project people. Hey, God, all right. Project people. So we call them the bricks back in the day. Yeah, and when the air conditioning hit a fan, put that thing in the window, hang it about 45 degrees with a true screen on it, and you was cool in the night. Amen. Sure, there was only one air conditioner in a project, and that was, that, was, that was the patriarchs and matriarchs in the house. Mom and dad, right? And if they was nice, they'd let the door open in, the, in their bedroom and let, and, let, and, and let the other air flow through the, through the project. If they was nice. I'm trying to tell you something, y'all. Amen. But they, there's no project in me. I ain't forget where I came from, but I got the mentality out of me. Because I'm in the promised land, and I'm promised man. That man is Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, amen. You can't live in the promised man when you're still in the project mentality. Yes. Yeah. Or you're still amen, with the ghetto mentality. Yeah. Or you're still in the trailer mentality. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Amen. I ain't against trailers, amen, but there's a mentality sometimes that goes with living in, 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 in a trailer. Y'all yeah, 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 remember? Amen. I can talk about it because I've been there. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. You're a trailer. Nothing wrong with that paper that thing, amen. Yeah. Amen. But don't, amen. But have it nice. Right. Right. Yeah. But God wants more for you. Right. Right. I'll challenge you today. Okay, let's, 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 let's read the, some scriptures and y'all say I preach today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm just mad at the devil trying to get us. Yeah. But God has so much for us, praise God. Amen. Amen. We ain't going to just shout about it and, and, and dance about it. We're going to walk about it. Amen. We're going to see it manifest in our life. Amen. Everybody looking for the manifestation inside yeah. me. Yeah. Man, I'm looking for the manifestation, Amen. praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to get mine, Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. If you follow me, you're going to get yours too. Yes. Glory to God. Uh, okay, we settle down. All right, the Bible says right here in Isaiah, the ninth chapter, and I'm just going to uh, begin. I, okay, I'll begin at verse 1. It's, uh, it's a little lengthy in reading, 1 through uh, 7, but let me read it all. I think I need to. Okay, Isaiah 9 says, verse 1, Isaiah, the ninth chapter, verse 1 says, But there will be no more gloom for her who was in anguish. In earlier times, he treated the land of Zebulun, which is a tribe of entrepreneurship, in the land of Nabatilli with contempt. But later on, he shall make it glorious. By the way of the sea, on the other side of, jo of, of Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. You may want to underline on the other side of the Jordan, because that's where God would carry you. Because, hey, amen, it was on the east side of Jordan, but on the west side of Jordan was the promised land. Right. Just by the God kept taking me to the other side. God yeah. To the other side. Yeah. It says in verse 2, the people who walk, in, who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Verse 3. You shall multiply the nation. You shall increase their gladness. They will be glad in your presence as with the gladness of harvest. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. As men rejoice when they divide the spoil. Anybody get ready to divide the spoil? That means your increase. That means, amen, things God has for you. Verse 4. You shall break the yoke. You, for you, talking about Jesus, God. You shall break the yoke of their burden and the staff of their shoulders. Uh, and the staff on their shoulders, excuse me, the rod of their oppressor as at the battle of Midian. For every boot of the booted warrior in the battle torment and cloak rolled in blood will be for burning through for the fire. Verse 6, for a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, or eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Verse 7, there will be no end to the increase of his government or, or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom, and over his kingdom, to establish it and, and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish it. I want to talk about the power of his name in the kingdom. Amen. Part one. <laughs> now I won't finish today. Now, now here's the deal. Everybody in, in the body of Christ, we come to church, but actually we come to a worship service. Right. Right. We can't come to something that we already are. That's right. We are the church. The word church comes from the, amen, from the Greek word ecclesia or ecclesia, which means called out ones. So you are the church. Tell David, you are the church. You are the church. So we really don't come to church. We come to worship. This is really not a, uh, a church. This is a building that houses the church. 
It is a facility. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. You are the church. Well, well, you, we have good church today. Can't have good church. Hey, good worship. I am the church, praise God. Church is in me. Hallelujah. Jesus did not come to bring a church. He came to bring his kingdom. Now, here is Isaiah, and he is prophesying of the coming Messiah. He is telling the people that those who was in darkness, you get ready to walk in light. Those who have had nothing, you get ready to divide the spoil, which means divide your harvest, divide your increase. Hallelujah. I got increase on my mind. But there is no increase outside of the kingdom of God. There's no increase outside of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, on the shield. The problem with people today is that we, we may try to do it outside of Jesus. Well, you can try that, and you can be partly successful, but your success fully won't come unless you underline it with Jesus Christ. Let me, let me, let me go back to Mr. Truitt uh, uh, of Chick-fil-A, uh, okay, who put Jesus first, who said we're going to close down on Sunday, uh, okay, to, for people to worship. Now, Sunday is not the Sabbath. The Sabbath is sundown Friday, just sundown Saturday. Right. Sunday is a day that we have chosen to go to church. The Sabbath is not to go to church. The Sabbath is to rest. Amen. Traditionally, it's with the church because that's the day they rest. Are y'all still with me? Right. I want to teach this thing like it needs to be. Yeah. And, 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 hallelujah. If you want to do really work, maybe, maybe it's best to do it on a Sunday and rest on Saturday. Right. I shook you then. Right. <laughs> Told my y'all, man, come up, come, up, come up grass on Sunday evening if you can. Yeah. You need to rest on Saturday because that's what God said. Yeah. I just miss y'all. Some of y'all are going to I know our society ain't set up that way, but remember the Sabbath came before the law ever was. Right. Right. Read your Bible. Right. 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 He said, no, he had a like that. Yeah. Okay. But, but, but here's the thing. Just a little bit. Just throw a little bit in. Sprinkle a little bit in. in, in there. Amen. Not the wrong going to church on Sunday. Not the wrong going to church on Saturday. Okay, it's about church. It's about a man honoring God. Are you hearing me? But here's the deal. But if God want to bless you, or excuse me, if you want God to bless you, then you got to get in Him. You got to get in His kingdom, and you got to understand the power of His name. Just a bunch of names. His name is power. His name is power. His name is power. Now the Bible says. Now the Bible says in Philippians two and ten that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of the things in heaven, of the things in earth, and the things under the earth. At the name, let me say it again. Now, the word Jesus is there, but we know that Jesus uh, is not his original Hebrew name. His original Hebrew name is what? Yahshua, right? Yahshua. And the reason why, what a why, there was no J's in the English language until the 1500s. So it could have been Jesus, even in English, all right? And we know when the Bible is translated. But it's all right. It's all right to say Jesus. Praise God. Don't get caught up, amen, on just Jesus because uh, there's no power outside of you knowing the attributes of Jesus. That's why I remember the sons of Sceva. Okay, who was trying to cast out demons? They say, "Yeah, Jesus, no, Jesus, we know. Are you sure we know? Paul, we know. But who are you? You using his name, but you don't even know who he is. So you can say the name of Jesus all day long, but if you don't understand the the authority of that name, you, it, it's just a name. But remember that Jesus or Yeshua was one of the four uh, major names during his time. So there's a whole lot of people walking around named Yeshua. Right. Yeah. Right. You know Jesus time, or if we're gonna say it properly. It make it make sense today. A lot of people walking around uh, Jerusalem and the Galilee with the name Jesus. Right. A whole lot of people the only one. That's a very common name, right? That's why they would say Jesus of Nazareth or Joseph's son. Right. 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 To clarify who he is. But when we say Jesus Christ, I mean that means Christ is, is, the, is, is the Greek or English rendition of Messiah. Right. Yeah. It, but so Jesus, Christ is not a last name. It means it's a title. It's not a name. It's a it's, it's Messiah. Right. Y'all still with me? Right. So the name of Jesus means that the authority of his name, every knee going to bow. Right. And every tongue going to confess. Are y'all hearing me in that? Right. So, there's, so, so, so there's power in the name. Right. Now, I know we don't understand that because my mama named me, uh, well, her friend named me Caracas. I can't even tell you what Caracas meant. It just sounded pretty good to them. They wrote it down. <laughs> now, I'm not mad at them. <laughs> I'm not mad at them. You know, we didn't have the education we have today. Hey, uh, come on, somebody. Hey, man, it's kind of a unique name. I, I made it mean whatever it needed to be for myself. Y'all yeah, yeah, still with me. But, 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 but during the time of, of, of God, of Jesus, and the biblical times, names meant something. Abram, named went from Abram to Abraham. Because Abraham means what? Father of many nations. Y'all yeah, still with me. So there's power in name. Tell somebody there's power in name. Power in name. And I'm telling you, praise God, when you know the authority of the name of Jesus Christ and what we're going to teach on even to start today, hey, can't nobody stop you. Hey, see, so you ain't got a person that can't be stopped. Stop. Hey, man, I, I'm unstoppable, Mike. I'm, 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 I'm unstoppable. You can't stop a man like me. I, I, I know the power of the name. When, when I'm down, I know how to get up. 
Right. 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 Sometimes when people down there not get up, amen. But I want to say, man, when I'm down, I'm not to get up, glory to God. There's something deep inside of me that I can feel it from. Oh, glory to God in the house. Anybody ever been down, amen, and you have to get yourself up? Hallelujah. The Bible said that David encouraged himself in a building, praise God. He pat himself on the back. Sometimes ain't nobody's around. You got to call the name of Jesus. Kingdom of heaven is at hand. The word repent comes from the Hebrew word teshuva, which means turn 180 degrees. It comes from the Greek word meditinio, which means to change your mind for the your mind for the for the better. Okay, so so but he said he said to keep the, the church at hand. He said he said what the kingdom was at hand. Now what is the kingdom? And I don't have time to teach this. I told him the kingdom about five years ago for a whole year. From January to December, I told the kingdom every single Sunday, every Wednesday. That's how deep the kingdom of God is for a whole year. But 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 I, I like the, what the late Dr. Miles Monroe would say. He said the kingdom of God is the governing authority and influence of a sovereign ruler who impacts his territory through his will, purpose, and intentions, which are manifested in the culture, lifestyle, and quality of his citizenry. Oh my goodness. I, I'll say that one more time. The kingdom of God, get the CD or the tape, you'll get it. Amen. I tape, I don't say I tape anymore. Um, it says that it's the, it's the governing authority and influence of a sovereign ruler. Now, who's the sovereign ruler? Jesus, God, okay, uh, who impacts his territory through his will, his purpose, and his intentions. Now, remember, now stop, stop. So the kingdom of God is God impacting your life based on his intentions. Remember what he said in Jeremiah? I know the intentions or the plans I have for you. Plans of peace, plans of a prosperity to give you an expected end. Yeah. Man, that right there ought to get you up out of your, 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 your place of, of abyss, your place of darkness, your place of I can't make it. God said, I know my intentions toward you, and they are good. Good God Almighty. Just that name right there. Which are manifested in, in, in the culture. Lifestyle and quality of the citizen. So your lifestyle got to change. See, right. so when, when, when you get our king, you come, you, you come in the kingdom. That's right. Glory to God. See, we, we live in the United States of America, and we've never had a true kingdom. So as the British are in other countries, we don't understand kingdoms. Right. We really don't. We don't understand democracy. We don't understand a kingdom. We don't understand when, when you're part of the kingdom, and, and, and your dad is the king, you have privileges. <laughs> we don't understand that because you live in the market saying nothing wrong with it. Amen. Ask Prince Williams. And then, what, 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 what's his little baby? His son. I can't think of his name. But anyway, I mean, he, I mean, come on, they been you on him. Right. You, now, you might not like it, say it's not fair. It is, it is what it is. Amen. Amen. You might even say, cool, you know, it, no, it, but it is. Tell me it is what it is. It is what it is. Amen. It is what it is. So, so, so the kingdom means that if you're in the kingdom, if you're in the kingdom, then the deal is, you, and your dad's the king, royalty is on you. Yes. Hello, yes. king. Hello. <laughs> now somebody said, what about queens? Now we're talking about the kingdom. See, it's not, see, now you're trying to bring sex in. Right. Oh. Right. Right. No, it's not a sexual thing. It's a positional thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yo, my, my wife ain't my queen, but she's God king. <laughs> He's king of king, not king of queens. <laughs> He's king of king. We see we try to mess God. We mess things up. Hey, hey. We already like my girl say. You know the seventies women liberation movement did a lot of good stuff, but did a lot of bad stuff. Cause to the church, amen, trying to make the church look like the world, but the world needs to look like the church. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Most of y'all some cool stuff there. Now, I'm, against, I, I, I'm not against women, amen, being CEOs and things. My wife's a bad woman, praise God. Yeah. And she's a strong woman. So I ain't got no little rooty booty, amen. I'm pushing her around. I'm pushing her around. You know, I push her too far, amen. She's. <laughs> so I, I understand really well, okay? Y'all still with me? Now, the word government here, the word government comes from the Hebrew word mishra, mishra, M I S R A H. Mishra. And it means and it means to be in rulership, to be in authority. All right? And when he said that the government shall be upon my shoulder, Jesus is saying, uh, or Isaiah is prophesying that Jesus is saying that the responsibility of justice, judgment, and authority is on Jesus. Jesus. Right. Come on now. So even though we live in the United States of America, 
We are not from here. Right. Oh, you ain't sick. Wow. See, see, when you got saved, God ushered you into the kingdom, not the church. Right. You are the church. That's right. Read your Bible again. See, so now you're part of the sovereign rule of God. So th th that's why you can pray things and people change their minds when they don't want to change it. Because the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord as the water causes, and he turns it as he will. Y'all yeah. see a witness. Proverbs says that. I, 27, I think it's 27. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord as the water courses, and he turns it as he will. Y'all, let me say it one more time. The heart of the king. See why? Because God controls the kingdom. See, see, that's why, Pastor Keith, when you go and need something to happen for you, come on, back lady, don't stop in the middle. Come on. Amen. You stop in one way, amen. Right in the middle. Come on. That's all right. Praise God. We still good. Uh, amen. We still good. See, when you can preach and look at everything that you are. <laughs> I'm always watching for you. Y'all know that. Amen. Okay. I'm, saying, I'm in the spirit. Big time though. See, 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 when you, y'all see it with me. See, when you, when you decide that you need something to do and, and you need faith from downtown, you, you pray the kingdom. Right. And the heart, and, and, and the system will change right. to your direction right. if God needed to be, even when they don't want it to happen. Right. And after it happens, sometimes they say, why did I make that decision? <laughs> oh, right. Why well, I did that for him, but I don't do it now. Because yeah. yeah. God is in control. Yeah. See, I know man thinks he's in control, and man thinks he got this thing on rough, but I'm going to tell you, God is still in control. I don't care what the world say. I don't care what the president say. I don't care what the governor say. I don't care what a man in the foreign leader say. God is in control. The earth is the Lord and the food is the earth and all that dry, he's still God. I guarantee you. And y'all come talk with man. I love man. Don't you hero worship man. Right. Amen. You, I mean, you're a knowledge man, you are a man. But don't you hero worship no man, including me, praise God. Amen. Amen. You gotta keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Amen. God, the author and finish of your faith, who for the joy set before him. And you with the cross on the fire to shine in. I'm yes, still with me today. Yes, sir. Amen. We talk about the power of his name. So, so, so here, right here, Isaiah, let me settle down some. Mm -hmm. He's prophesying about Jesus Christ. And he said, in his name. Now, you ought to look at this really good. He said, and the government shall be on the throne, and his name will be. Now, God's so bad yeah. to his son, don't have one name. <laughs> It, when, he went to, when he went to Joseph, he said, his name is Emmanuel. That's right. God with us. Uh -huh. see, see, God so, God so, he, he, he knew he was going to put himself in Jesus. That's right. So I, so I need some super superlative adjectives That's right. to describe my son coming into the earth. Mm -hmm. Remember when he showed up that day and was born, that the heavens opened up in the cross star scene. That's right. right. When, when you was born, we didn't hear any angels. <laughs> I know your mom and daddy may be swimming. But we didn't. Hey, when, when Jesus was born, hey, Gina, the cross started singing. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth, good will toward me. The cross, that's what us y'all ain't seen. So now I'm caught up on Christmas and celebrating with Amen. No, no, I'm caught up on Amen. Not, not, not some pagan holiday. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, amen. I mess y'all up. Amen. But I'm caught up, hey, praise God, on, on, on his birth and what that means to him. Y'all still with me? Yes, sir. So his name is, it, it, so it's five names given, or four, all, all depends on your translation, how they look at it. Because some people say wonderful counselor as one, but today, for, for, for the sake of teaching, I'm going to say wonderful is, is separate. Because they, man, uh, some scriptures, uh, uh, some translations separated anyway. So it's all right. So, so, so number one is, the name is wonderful. Yeah. The word wonderful is the Hebrew word pele, pele, P-E-L-E-H. It means a marvelous things or wonders done. So, so remember, say the government shall be up on the shoulder, meaning the responsibility, say the Lord shall perform performing, says that those, in the, in the scripture before, says that those who walk in darkness are going to walk in light, says that your harvest is coming in, meaning your blessings is coming in, and all these things are happening because you know the name. Just might get to know the name. Know the name. See, because when we get to know the name, then you can speak into some dark places in your life, you can speak into some dark situations in your life, and you just won't shout at church, but right in the midst of the storm, you will learn how to dance. You don't have to wait till the storm is over. Learn how to dance right now. Dance in the midst of the storm, yeah. knowing you got the power, because because you got wonderful. Yeah. Now the Bible says in Psalms uh, seventy-seven, Psalms seventy-seven, eleven through fourteen, it says, "I shall remember the deeds of the Lord." 
Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? Mm -hmm. and, and, and what God is small, G? It's great like our God. You are the God who works wonders. Mm -hmm. You have made known your strength among the people. Mm -hmm. Now here, here is the psalmist echoing what God did in Exodus. Mm -hmm. Right. And what, how God brought them out with a mighty hand. How the wonders of God was before them. He's wonderful. Go back and ask Moses at Moshe at the Red Sea. Is he wonderful? He is wonderful. Your great deeds. And sometimes we have seas in front of us. Sometimes we have water all around us. And, they don't, and, and the devil is chasing us. And then we sit there and cry. And what I'm going to do? Oh, call our Pele. He's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wonderful, meaning wonders will happen. Miracles, signs, and wonders will happen right in front of you if you call out P-Land. Right. 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 A wonderful. And see, the devil want to trick you that he's not wonderful. Right. Right. He wants you to make you feel like God ain't there. He's not there. He's nothing. You by yourself. And you got to say, no, no, no. I serve a wonderful God. As a matter of fact, God said, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. He said, you are fearfully and see, you are one, Chris, you are wonderfully made. Good God of see, see, God didn't just make you and say, no, he looked, made man and called him good. You are wonderfully made. That's why I came about to tell you, no matter what your background is, how much money you have or don't have, what kind of car you drive, don't you listen to them? You are wonderfully made. The wonders of God made you. God didn't speak you into existence. He spoke the birds. He spoke the bass and the brim and the cactus. But he did not speak man into existence. He took a man dirt from the ground, from what he had already made, and then breathed in man. And we are living so. You're not a bird. You're not an octopus. You're not a lion. You are man. You are wonderfully man. Beautifully and wonderfully man. Wonderfully man. You are. High glory to God in the highest. You're going to let somebody downgrade you and tell you that you are nothing. The devil is a liar. You ought to get mad sometimes. And tell that devil, ah, the wonders of God make me. I may not look like the way man going to look. I may look ragged right now. Maybe a little rough around the corners right now. Maybe going through some peace right now. Ah, glory to God. But just keep looking at that. Keep going to bed and getting up in the morning. You're going to see me looking good. You're going to see me blessed. You're going to see me prosper. You're going to see me be it.
Look, the, the Bible says that the enthusiasm of God shall do it. The word zeal means, means intense enthusiasm. Zeal means intense enthusiasm. That's why things don't happen to people in church boats. You ain't excited enough. You need God. Yeah, I need God. No, you don't. Your zeal says you don't. The Bible says that the zeal of the Lord shall perform it. It says that God shall wake up and get excited about you.
you say that, you know what about you? I don't want no details, but the, I, I had a little uh, a offer and, and very much a plenty of money. Yeah. And I ain't talking about, I ain't talking, I'm talking about over half a million dollar money. I put my money, where, I put my mouth where, where yeah. it's at, right. where my walk is at. Right. Right. And, and, and guess what? It ain't the time. Right. Ain't what God wants. Yeah. Oh, I can do something, but it ain't what God wants. Right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Right. So that means God got something better. Right. Now, they get the best for me. Right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Right. So, no, what about now? I ain't looking to live for now. I'm looking to live for God. That's right. So I'm going to live forever. Yeah. Some of y'all get that tomorrow. Right? <laughs> Some of y'all get that tomorrow. Right? I'm going to live forever. Some of y'all worry about dying. I ain't worried about dying. I'm worried about how a man living. Yeah. <laughs> I already died. I already died. I already died. I already died. But I, my spirit will never die. I'm a spirit, amen. You ain't a man. You think you're a body. You ain't a body. You're a spirit that has an earth suit with a soul in it, praise God. And when you got born again, you died. That's why amen. they baptized you with some body of dying. And you was resurrected with Christ. And Christ ain't dead anymore. He got up on the third day. He a king got up. Yeah. The name above our every name got up. Did you get up? Did I get up? Because you got up, praise God, you ain't got to get back down again. Right. Right. Not like that. Yeah. So, 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 counsel. It says in Proverbs 15 and 22, without counsel, plans fail. Yes, but with many advisors, they succeed. Yes. Proverbs 15 and 22 says it. And see, uh, and, and we, we have to go back to God. We do church for our own good. Mm. I said slow. Mm. We do church for our own good. Yes. So I know a bunch of people in church today having a good old time. Preacher, preacher, good, that's all right. But their mind not being stimulated. Right. Right. They're not being challenged. That's good. No counselors out there. That's right. We're just doing our own thing. Uh, hello, somebody. Yeah. You ought to see where you at and say, God, from here next year, I'm in sin. That's right. yes. 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 In every part of your life, spiritually, economically, yes. in every part. Right. Yeah. Amen. Because we're going from faith to faith and glory to glory. That's right. Why are you seeing the same place you was in 10 years ago? Something wrong. That's right. You come to church every Sunday, you church it. Like a bunch of people, amen. That's why people don't want to come to the church. Because they, why am I coming to the church and I look better than the church look? Mm -hmm. It ain't about money. It's about how you respond to things. That's right. Yeah. You know, uh, how, how do you take advantage of opportunities that come your way? Right. Right. Amen. Do you do you jump or, 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 or do you just sit back, amen, and say, if God had not wanted for me, he'll bring it to me. Oh. <laughs> and see, the, angel, the kingdom of God is some of violence, but the violence take it back by force. Amen. I said, King John said, hey, until from the day, from John the Baptist to now, the kingdom of God has suffered violence, but the violence take it back by force. Right. So you got to take back your blessing. That's right. That's right. You got to take back your blessing. Yeah. Just by taking it back. Praise God. You need to get a brother born to a 15 year old in the projects. Yeah. Yeah. Hit, 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 hit my brother, a, a, praise God, at, at 18. Had my sister at 19. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I know y'all heard this story. I'm going to tell you over and over and over again. Because, amen. And you see you talking about, oh, you said it because you were there. No, I say that because I was not there. I remember the government cheese. Amen. I remember the powder of milk, praise God. I remember the peanut butter. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But that ain't what you got to say. You got to get your mind together. We moved, amen, up, 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 up scale to the new homes, amen, which was, amen, government housing. <laughs> Not from government apartments to government houses. We thought we had did something. We have a house with a yard that we can cut now. Because the project they cut your grass. And they, they went until it got real high, and they made grass was everywhere. And they ain't bring no rake out there. They said, you get it for free, so shut up. Y'all ain't. But the government shall be upon his shoulder. The responsibility is upon Jesus' shoulder. Are y'all hearing me? Hey, praise God. And I'm not bragging, but my wife and I, we, we what we had because we made decisions and we decided to follow Jesus. I didn't say he was perfect. I ain't said I didn't never mess up. I blew it many, many times, amen. But a righteous man will fall seven times. But he'll get back up, praise God. When you know who amen, the name of Jesus Christ, you will get back up. Amen. We're not to stop you. Amen. Some of you ain't praying enough. Yeah, praise God. You too busy doing a business plan in order and you ain't put the counsel of the man in it. Oh, but increase your prayer life. Oh, Let's start praying more. Let's start reading your Bible a little bit more. God, I got something great for you. But you need something to anchor you now. My anchor holds. Open oh, you say my anchor holds. It's solid, great man. Meaning it's holding on to Jesus. Change yeah. that that's your name, son. Give your anchor hold. Yeah. Solid rock. You see? 
But you got to know the power of the name. The power of the name in the kingdom. Wonderful counsel. Mighty God. And we'll, we'll get to those next week. Let you go home. You see? Because I get on Mighty God, I won't stop. I won't stop again on Mighty God. Y'all be here for another very important minute. Let me tell you. Because I can't talk about it in five. Right. Mm -hmm. So I know the preachers talk about it in five, and they say, Mighty God, and go, Sir, Mighty God, this is Mighty God. He ain't nothing. I don't need that. I need somebody to expound upon that. Exactly. I, need, I, need, I, need, I need somebody with some zeal. Right. If the zeal of the Lord perform it, praise God, then I need some zeal. Right. 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 Come on, I need somebody, amen, who's going who, who's gonna to paint a picture that I see how mighty he really is. Y'all right. right. agree with me? Yeah. Right. Now, you may need somebody to say he's the mighty God. I need somebody to explain how what might it mean. How do I look in my life? Yeah. Right. How, how do I take that, amen, on Sunday and apply it on Sunday evening when the devil's showing up in my house? Right. Right. How I tell the yes. people that you've been messing with me while I've been in church, I've been trying to read my, 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 my little Bible, and I'm seeing them at 1 800 and 177. Talk about while I'm in church. I'm real. I'm safe. Amen. I, I just get them too. Now, you see the one that you don't need on my phone now? I hear Jane in a bit, like somebody trying to give me a loan. I switch the curve now. The Lord's trying to take my money. Now trying to give me a Your loan's approved. I ain't even call you. What are you talking about? I'm going to I'm going to crash over a little bit. Come on, y'all. Oh, my, mine's in the car. See, so y'all will be real today. I'm trying to help you. Hey, my room was just a thing. Hey, man, mine's in the car, too. Hey man, y'all yo, yo, yo in the 700s, even on 600, man, 550 was really good. Talk to you so much. Hallelujah. And you gotta call on a wonderful counselor. You need to call your consultant. You need to call on somebody who can get your amen stuff where you can be. Come on, somebody. That you can get your credit card. That you like, come on, somebody. Now, they approve a car that you can have. Come on, talking real right now, praise God. Just don't you worry about it. Those who in darkness, your light coming, your light won't show up. Your light ain't coming. You keep on plugging, keep on paying our bills, keep on getting and give your tithes and offerings. Do what God told you to do. Amen. Praise God. And you, you coming out. And when you on the east side of the Jordan, you get ready to cross your Jordan. Your Jordan River is getting ready to open up for you. Your Jordan River is getting ready to be dry for you. Your Jordan River is getting ready to give you access to your promised land. To get a promised man by the name of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the earth. But you gotta believe. Yeah. Believe. Yeah. When you do that, you're gonna cross over. Yeah. Cross over books. Yeah. Cross over mindset. Yeah. Y'all hear me? I'm done. Let me say this. I, 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 I got to say it kind of help somebody. If God told me to. You see, because right now, some of you struggling with what I'm seeing because you're in so much darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Teddy just told me that. Yeah. And you're and you, 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 so tough. It's so rough right now. You say, Preacher, I understand you. I, I hear you. I hear, I hear you, Doc Rock, and all that. But, I, 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 but, but I'm struggling. See? I hear you. I'll tell you But can you push yourself? Yeah, come on now. You dare to trust him. Yeah. Where trust comes from, the, the, the Hebrew uh, base word het, it means to lean on him as you would a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Just listen. Right. You know, you notice I didn't check, check to see if the sheetrock could hold me. Right. I didn't check the tinsel strength behind the sheetrock where the, where, where the beam's in. I just leaned on it. If I trust him, it's going to hold me up, Mr. Brother Bob. So you got you, you got to do God the same way. You, know, right? you, you got to know that Jesus came to save you and to give you life and that life more abundantly. Yeah. And you got to trust the process. Now, if you now if you don't want to go through the process, then, then forget what I'm saying. Right. But if you willing to go through the process, That's right. He's willing to bring you out. Yeah. I'm telling you from experience. I, I know that God allowed me and Andre to go through what I went through. Yeah. So I can teach the way I teach. Yeah. I know he did. He allowed us not to be able to rub two knuckles together. Yeah. Couldn't go to cleaners and get my shirts clean. Yeah. Hey, white shirts in. Had to learn how to iron all over again real good. Had to learn how to starch them up real good. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Pastor Keith. Yes. Yes. Pastor number one class on this with him now in the jail. Yes. When he used to beat people up in the jail. Take your food. Take your cigarettes. I'm gonna tell you the truth. And now he now he has favor to go in any time he wants to. How's that the person? and working for the jail, in jail, now has overseas in the jail. Right. And do what he want to do. Yeah. Judges that sentence him, now love him and say, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. How does that happen? Right. Right. I can go from crack Amen. all the way up yeah. to royalty. That's right. yeah. Jesus. I'm done. I said you could. I go all the way.